and that, Lord, you would use these human vessels and your name would be lifted high. And that, God, the um, changes would transpire because of what you're doing, Lord God. Lord, we love you. And we thank you for this moment of time that you've put before us.
Spirit of the living. 
Lord, our cry is to be filled up with your spirit, Lord. Stand before you tonight, God, at this altar, and that's our cry. God, that you'd pour out your spirit. And that, Lord, even tonight, God, the, in this room, Lord, and those that are looking on through, uh, you know, through the internet, Lord, we're, we're asking to pour out your spirit in a fresh and new way, Lord. And that you awaken our hearts, God, to who you are, your plans, your purposes, your desires, your will, God. Lord, we just turn to you now, Lord expectation that you listen, you hear, and that you act upon the prayers of your people, that, and you're the one that initiates the prayer. We're grateful to be here. And I will invite anybody who wants to come up and pray. You can, um, the microphone will be open, and come and sit in the chair here. Up and we can pray together. But we're going to spend a little time in intercession. The songs that we sang earlier tonight are, are the, that heartbeat of God pouring His Spirit out. But we need, we need the fresh wind of the Spirit of the Lord. And um, pray, pray out for some uh, for revival. God would revive the church, but that He would make Himself real nations and in our nation. I'm going to pray a little bit out of Acts. Acts chapter 17, starting in verse 24. Interesting set of verses that uh, Paul is preaching on Mars Hill to, uh, to unbelievers. And he points to this God who is sovereign over all the earth. Verse 24, it says, The God who made the world and all the things in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, neither is he served by human hands as though he, is, he needed anything, since he himself gives to all life and breath and all things. And he made from one every nation, mankind to live on the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitations, that they should seek God, if perhaps they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Lord God, you are sovereign God. You have set the boundaries and you have set times for nations. Lord, we're living in these times where there is there's a great shaking. There's conflict on the earth. And that boundaries are being reset. And we look to you as our God. We see boundaries being reset in, in Israel, in you know, and, and the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. We see boundaries being reset, Lord, in Ukraine. There's conflict going on. We even see our own boundaries in our nation. The southern boundary and the northern boundary. Those things are, are shaking and, and becoming more and more difficult. We see boundaries within the, uh, the context of morality in our land. And, and things are being tested and shaken. And boundaries are being moved. said in your word, God, that, that you set those boundaries, and when you reset them, and there's a shaking on the earth, Lord, that you're doing it so that there'll be a seeking of you, so that, Lord, that people would grope to find you, and look and run down that journey that we've been singing about, that, Lord, you have purpose and plan in mind as you shape the nations and you shape things all around us, Lord. Lord, we're asking God in these times, God, where boundaries are being tested and shaken, that, Lord Jesus, that you would build a hunger, that you would make yourself real, Lord God. God, that you would bring revival, Lord, that people would see 
you for who you are, the God who rules and sets boundaries, Lord. Lord, I want to pray a little bit, God, for the, for the sons of Jacob tonight. God, for the people of Israel, Lord, who are living in, in a place of fear and living in a place of conflict. Lord, I pray, God, you would make yourself real. That, Lord God, that you would reveal who you are, the great Messiah to the Jewish people. Lord Jesus, we, we want to ask God, God, that there would be a seeking of God like never before as things shake on the edge of conflict with Iran and the edge of conflict in that area that could escalate. Lord, we ask God that you would reveal yourself, that you would reveal yourself as Messiah, that you would reveal yourself, God, and that you would pour out your spirit and draw people to yourself, oh God. God, we're praying, God, for revival in that land, Lord Jesus. We ask, God, revive your people, God, that you chose those many thousands of years ago. And that, Lord Jesus, that you would pour out your spirit like was prophesied in Joel, the, the Jewish prophet. Lord, pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit in Israel. into those people, God, in this time of insecurity, in this time, God, where there's conflict, that, Lord Jesus, that you would reach in and pour out your spirit, God. Draw them to yourself, God. Let there be a revival, God. Let there be a witness of your spirit, God, in that land, Lord. We pray, God, God, your name would be lifted high, and that, Lord, in this time, God, why not right now, Lord Jesus, while the conflict is, is raging, Lord, Lord, we're asking, God, that you would break in that, Lord, you'd pour out your spirit, God, and let there be a witness of your goodness, God, a witness of your mercy, God, a witness of your, 
your power, Lord Jesus, to convert souls, to draw people to yourself, to call them to repentance, to call them, God, upon their knees once again, Lord Jesus. Eleventh hour, God, come show your glory. reaches in, God, changes hearts and souls, Lord. God, we pray, God, for revival, God, in the Palestinians, Lord. We pray, God, for revival, God, for the sons of Ishmael, Lord. Lord, your care is for them, God. Your desire, God, is for them, Lord. Lord, I've heard so many stories, God, and I've talked to so many, God, in the, in the Middle East, Lord, where you gave visions and dreams even in mosques dreams and visions of who you are God to those that have never known you or even known your name in the Middle East God in Turkey Lord in Iran Lord we're asking God for that same spirit that we're crying out for the sons of Jacob to land upon the sons of, of Ishmael Lord and that God revival would truly be revival that would go across the boundaries God would go across those places God where there are walls built up Lord we're asking God that you pour out your spirit God pour it out God in a fresh and new way Lord Jesus and that God even through the conflict and through the shaking God that there would be a shaking of hearts God and those hearts would see you in a fresh way God that they would see you through the the confusion, see you through the smoke and all the propaganda, and that, Lord, you would reveal yourself, God, God, to these, God, that you care about, that, that you died for, Lord. We ask, God, for the revival to sweep across that whole area, God, irregardless, God, of their affiliation. Lord, we ask, God, that you'd break into Hamas, God, that you'd break into Lebanon, God, that you'd break into those areas, Lord, God, you would convert souls, draw them to yourself, God. And that, Lord, through this, God, your name would be lifted on. And that we would see many come, many sons and daughters come to you, Lord. Bring glory to your name. Bring the prodigal. In the 
resurrection of the hearts bring healing the father resurrection redemption yes. resurrection redemption happening in our, you know, on, a, on campuses around the nation, Lord, and lots of confusion that is out there, Lord. And there's a groping, God. There's a people looking for some answers, many times looking in the wrong place, God. And we're praying, God, for revival, God, and, you know, in, in Israel, God, and, and in Palestine. But, Lord, we need revival right here in this land, in our city, Lord God, in our divided place, God, where boundaries are being shaken here, Lord Jesus. And the division can be great, God. And there's violence in the streets, Lord Jesus. God, right here and right now, we need you. Right here and right now, God, we come before you as a people, as members of your church, and we say, oh God, God, would you pour out your spirit right here, Lord Jesus. And that God, in these times, God, of confusion, in these times, God, where, where differences are highlighted more than others, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you would reveal yourself as the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In this season of time, as we celebrate your birth, that Lord Jesus, God, that you would bring revival. We need it here, God. We need it in your church in America. We need it in the church in St. Louis, Lord Jesus. God, would you pour out your spirit afresh and new, God? A spirit of seeking. A spirit of turning away from other things. An awakening spirit that would come to your people. That, Lord Jesus, that we would see people saved here. God, that we would see your spirit poured out, your power manifest, Lord, in your church, and there, there, there would be a witness, God, a witness in Jerusalem, a witness, God, in Ashkelon, God, a witness, Lord Jesus, in St. Louis. God, we're praying, God, for that witness to arise, God, in power and in might, and that your spirit would be poured out and that we would see thousands come to know you, Lord Jesus. Let it be the fruit of what's going on in the shaking right now. Glory for your name and glory for your kingdom. You are always on the throne. You are always in a place of power.
the spirit of unity over your bride. Right now, right here in St. Louis, in this place, so come, Father. Touch the hem of his garment, I know that I will be here. You reach out to God. I know I'll be here. Reach out to me. God, even for this, for the season of time and this Sunday, many places around this, you know, around the city proclaiming your goodness, God, and your gospel and your message, God. God, would you surprise them, Lord? Would you surprise them with a fresh anointing, God? Surprise them, God, with your spirit filling the room, God. Places that have not experienced it for years and years but that, Lord Jesus, that you would come and that, God, you'd pour out your spirit like we've been cr crying out to you for. And that, God, the, the pastors around the city that are, that are weak in their faith right now, those that are, that are, you know, in that place with not a lot of faith, but that, Lord Jesus, they stand in, in their faithfulness, God, and preach this Sunday morning 
Lord, I ask, God, that their words would be on fire, God, that you surprise them, God, with an anointing, Lord, that goes out and it touches hearts and brings revival, God, more and more. Praying, God, for salvations, praying, God, for turning of hearts, even this week, God, why not now, God? Why not in this season of time, God, when there's great shaking, that, Lord, you would arise, God, and be the light in a dark place. Lord, we love you. We thank you, Jesus, that it's your desire, God, to save souls, that all men would be come to know you, Lord. And we ask, God, for that outpouring of your spirit, God, in our lives and in our city, Lord.
Jesus, I love you. We're crying out. 
Jesus, you don't owe me anything. So more than anything that you can do, I just want you. So I'm caught up in your presence And I just want to sit here at your feet And I'm caught up in this holy morning And I never want to leave I'm not here for blessings Jesus, you don't owe me anything. And more than anything that you can do, I just want you. And I'm sorry when I've just gone through the motions, and I'm sorry. I just sang another song So take me back to where we started And I open up my heart to you Right here tonight But I'm sorry When I've come with my agenda And I'm sorry When I forgot that sure enough so take me back to where we started And I open up my heart to you Just caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this hole I'm not here for blessings Cause Jesus you don't owe me anything And more than anything that you can do I just want you But I just want you Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you, and nothing else, and nothing else, nothing else will do. But I just want you, and nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else will do, and I just want you. It's nothing else, and nothing else, nothing else will do. God, I just want you, and nothing else, it's nothing else. Nothing else will do And I just want you And nothing else And nothing else Nothing else will do And I just want you I just want you I just want you And nothing else will do Jesus, I just want you. 
Just to feel you here was everything. Stone by your beauty. This is my offering. I'm stunned by. Stunned by your beauty, this is my offering, not for anything that I could be, it's just to honor you and bring you praise, it's like a fragrance broken on the be pure before you God there's no motive there's no hidden cash here's my all and I don't want it back it's like a fragrance broken on the floor Jesus may my worship be It's all about, all about you, all about you. 
Just to honor you and bring you praise. It's like a fragrance broken on the floor. May my worship be pure. May my worship be pure. Worship be pure. May this worship be pure. This worship be pure. Yes, the law of the Lord is perfect, restoring my soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making simple why. And the precepts of the Lord are Rejoicing, rejoicing the heart. And your joy commandment, it's pure, enlightening my eyes. The commandment. Enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring. Oh, the fear of the Lord is clean, it's enduring. The fear of the Lord is clean, and it's enduring for Judgments, Lord, are true, and they are righteous. Your judgments, O oh Lord, they're true, and they are righteous, more desirable than gold. It's more desirable than fine gold. It's 
sweet as a honey They are sweet as the honey Oh my lips They're sweet as the honey Oh my lips Are your precepts oh, So let the words of my mouth And the meditation of my Words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, my rock and my redeemer. You're my rock and my redeemer. message to the uh, to those that are incarcerated and to their families and to their children it's it's an amazing work that they've been doing and um, you know they're helping those that are fresh out of prison and um, finding jobs finding and you know places for them to live supplying them with uh, with many many items that, that are needed as, as they re-enter. And um, so we want to pray for Mission Gate Prison Ministry tonight. Pray for Rick and Trish Mathis who, uh, who, run, that, who run that ministry. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for the witness that you're giving through this, through this ministry for so many years, God. God, they've laid down their lives. God, for the good of those that, um, that, that have stumbled and really have had difficulties in their lives. And, and Lord, your witness, your great mercy, your great grace has been extended through this ministry. And we ask, God, for your blessing upon them, Lord. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would grant to them the finances that are needed, God, in order to, in order to progress in the ministry. That, Lord Jesus, that you would grant to them grace and wisdom and understanding as they reach to those that are in great need. We pray, Lord Jesus, for a rich harvest that many, many would, would see your loving kindness, your grace, 
your forgiveness, your mercy, Lord God, through this ministry, Lord Jesus. Pray, God, that as they step out of those, those prison gates, that they would encounter you through prison, through mission gate, Lord. We ask, God, for Rick and Trish that uh, you would watch over them, supply their needs, God. Keep them right in, in the palm of your hand, God. Protect them and care for them, Lord. Pray, Lord, that you would encourage them, God, in those times where they're feeling dry or those times where they're just feeling overwhelmed. Lord, we ask, God, that you, you keep them healthy and well. Watch over their family, their children, God, their extended family. Lord, would you grant blessing upon them, God? And we just lift them up to you, God. Lift them in knowing that your desire is for them. And we're standing with you. for them this week, Lord God. In particular, Lord, I, I think about, you know, the, the Christmas time and the Christmas angel parties that they're going to be having for, for the, the children of the prisoners. Um, and what a big, um, it's a lot, a lot of work that they have to put, put out in doing this. And so, Lord, we ask, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you, you would grant workers that you would grant hands to, to lift up and, and take care of the needs that are there, Lord. We pray, God, that there would be volunteers that would come in and rush in to stand with this ministry and that they would be the hands and feet of you, Lord. And that, God, you would reach into these families, reach into these, into these hearts, Lord God. And that, Lord, you would, you would pronounce a forgiveness. You would pronounce your love to them and that lord they would feel and know your goodness and your mercy lord jesus so lord you say in our prayers and many prayers that have gone up before for them and we ask for grace mercy and strength for their hearts and for their everyday um, ministry and work and lord um, I just want to ask God that you would you would be with this house, the leadership team that is here. God, that you would build your house of prayer in our region, and that many would come into this place and touch you and know you in a different way, Lord. We pray, God, that you would increase, God, the finances here, that you would increase the blessing the grace here in the house of prayer and that Lord that you bring many more volunteers in that we would fill the hours God that that your name would be lifted up and the church would progress in its ministry because of the undergirding and the foundation of prayer that is being that's being done right here at this altar Lord we just love you we thank you for being here with us tonight and leading us